All right, I'm at Greenleaf State Park. A little waterfront lot here. Fixing to take the ocean kayak out. See if we can catch some fish. I think this lake is known for its crappie and catfish. I used to camp with my parents on this lake whenever I was a little bitty kid. And I haven't been back until today. And uh, brought back a lot of memories. A lot of fond memories. Over there is a marina where I caught my first big bass. Or to me, it was a big bass. So anyways, I've got a couple hours before sunset, so I'm going to get out there and see if I can catch some fish. There are a bunch of little bass out here schooling, chasing the shad to the surface. I've already caught a couple of little ones. But it looks like it's just little ones out here schooling up. Jeez. Little ones. Got my fish locator out. It's not showing anything much on the bottom right now. I've got it on down scan. When I was over there in the shallows, it showed a almost picture quality image of the weeds down below me. Thermocline line is so distinctive at 20 foot, you can see it on the fish locator. Oh! Dang, I missed him. Oh, he took the tail smooth off my lure. Got that one. A little bitty booger. Oh my god. They are going after that chartreuse though. That is a little one. I sure like this Trident 13 for chasing a schooling fish. It turns surprisingly easily. And it'll get up and move when you want it to. That ought to get something. That did get something. Ah, little bitty boogers. Something bigger than that. There's got to be a decent sized one out there. sun behind me. I don't know how much you guys are seeing of this. Still bringing in a little bass. About a three and a half foot gar surfaced right beside me as I was bringing this one in. Paddled back over here where the wind's not blowing as hard. Got a little bit of a wind break. Tomorrow, I'm going to go hit the Illinois River. It's about an hour from here. Do a little scuba diving and see if I can find that 
diving knife that I lost a while back. I'll leave you all with this parting sunset. We'll pick this back up probably. Okay, it's early in the morning. I dropped the wife off so she could take her braille test. And while we're in this part of the state, I'm going to cruise over to uh, the Illinois River and see if I can locate that dive knife that I lost about a month ago or so. All right, I called the local resort, which is Eagle Bluff Resort on the Illinois River, and they were kind enough to let me uh, park my vehicle on their property so I could go look for my gear. It's right over here is where the, uh, actually, right about there is where the uh, kayak rolled over and, and dumped all that scuba gear into the river. But anyways, I uh, just got through visiting with the river manager, super nice guy named Dave, and uh, now I'm gonna get out there in the river and see if I can find that dive knife. Anyways, that's about it for right now. Probably be switching over to the GoPro here in just a little bit.
Goodness, I am cold. I stayed down there for a while. Didn't find just a whole lot, mostly trash. I have no idea what that is, just kind of metal. Another chunk of iron. Uh, did find a quarter. Always pays to look, relook your holes over. Spark plug. Found a bullet. Looks like an unfired bullet. And another coin that is smooth eight up. I don't know if I'll ever be able to figure out what that thing is. I did find a knife. It wasn't my knife, but a bone handle pocket knife. Would have been nice if I could have found my knife, but a uh, nice little consolation prize. So, anyways, a couple coins, bullet, knife, and then pulled some trash off the bottom of the river. So, anyways good way to kill the time waiting for my wife to get done uh, she uh, she texted me and she passed her braille test 
So that's awesome. Proud of her for doing that. Because that's something I would never even want to attempt. But anyways, I'm going to get out of this wetsuit, get warmed up, and then probably head back to camp.